All right. Hey, everybody. This is Andy the Gemini Man. And John and Mystic Rider. And and this is our second unscripted video. And this is we're going to be discussing our thoughts and opinions on the the supposed rumor of King Dakar closing after the 2025 season. Now, I've been um, it's been on my bucket list for a while. John him actually did get to ride it when he went to a Great Adventure for the first time. Um, not uh, when he went for the first time. Um, as you've all probably seen, and I'll leave a, a little link in the corner here for you all to see it. We actually went to Great King or Six Flags Great Adventure in at the end of uh, late June this year for their 50th anniversary. And one of the things I was really pumped about to ride was King to Cop. And as soon as we got back to the the uh, section it's in, I think it's called the um, jump. I forget what it's called. The section it's in. It's, well, a, it's, near, it's near, a little near, section. Yeah, it's, well, it's near it's safari. There, it's a safari ride and stuff. But anyway, where I was getting at is as soon as we got back there, there was an employee in front of it. And it said, and he said that uh, King Daka and Jumanjaro Drop of Doom was closed for the day for maintenance for staffing reasons. And I was was um, disappointed. You actually do get to see in the video that um, where me and John talk about it being shut down for the day, and us being a little uh, poop uh, bummed about it. Yeah, I was also but, disappointed just because of Zoom and Jar because yeah, yeah, I got on King Kong, but I, I went the first time I went to Six Rides Great Adventure was before Zoom and Jar was was there, so I didn't get a chance to get on that. Right. Well, um, it was my yeah, like I said, it was my first time there, and I was really pumped that it was going to be um that I was going to ride the what it st um as of this re recording of this uh, video. It holds still holds the record for the tallest roller coaster in the world, at about four hundred, about four hundred feet, four fifty four hundred fifty six feet. Yeah. And but so yeah, I was like, I get to ride this thing before Falcon's Flight opens next year. Is it going to be great? And then, um, most recently, as of a couple weeks ago, actually, this is when um, the the topic of our discussion here is. Rumors were going around that Kingdom Cobb was going to be closing after its tw the 2025 season, which next year, if no one um, if no no one hasn't um, known about this, 20 next year 2025 will be Kingdom Cobb's 20th anniversary at Six Flags Great Adventure. And I ha thought it was kind of weird that they decided to like, hey, we're just going to shut this down after 20 years of after it being open for 20 holding the record for tallest roller coaster for 20 years and, but i and then people started um going on reddit and facebook and we'll show you po um we'll we'll talk about those here in a minute about that too and they people were saying like they're probably going to give it the top thrill 2 treatment and the and i thought like uh well um, I don't think that's going to happen if they do it because of all the backlash and Pearl is going through right now because of it and and Cedar Fair is, well, the former Cedar Fair, which is now Six Flags Entertainment, um, is going through right now because not just Sam Perla, it's them and uh, the new Six Flags Corporation that's under a lot of, uh, under a lot of stuff right now because of it. Oh, it's actually more Cedar Point itself, not not Six Flags Entertainment as a whole. It's more of that just that particular park that that's under a lot of uh, heat. Because ultimately, from what I understand, what happened with Top Thrill Two, two they basically were trying to reuse the the track on the top hat for for the top for Top Thrill Two. Ooh, and the uh, trains were, weren't fitting right, right, and were causing additional wear on the trains because they weren't fitting right on the old track. Mm -hmm. So, so what? What? what I'm, just on a side note, just gonna get off topic a little bit. And for, it's what I'm thinking they're doing with Top Thrill too, because it it's close for the whole season. Season they're going to be replacing the track on the top hat so, so it would work all work just fine. So I so going with King to call. 
uh, being uh, being giving the 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 same treatment. I don't see that going to cause any problems because at this point they would would have worked out all the kinks with Zamperla and know know that they're not trying to reuse the top the top hat track again. Right, they, they re, just replace the whole thing. Well, you also got to remember, um, and I watched everything about after it happened, um, after the whole um, them shutting down t Top Thrill 2 for the rest of, for the whole uh, season af after like two months of not hearing nothing. This was apparently Zamperla's biggest coaster project they've ever done, because if you're not familiar with Zamperla, most of their stuff is mostly on the smaller scale, like family coasters. Um, oh, I they're also coaster. known for the, the Valair model, which is their version of a flying coaster, which also does, gets a lot of backlash because of how rough they are. But again, this was their at um, their first biggest their biggest coast, uh, coaster project they've done, and I think they bit more than they could chew, to be honest. But that um, again, that's another discussion for another video. But our thoughts on the I don't I hope it's not shutting down. Uh, King to cause not shutting down because again I want the credit to say hey I've been on the road the tall as of now the tallest roller coaster in the in the on the planet to, before the the next contender for it opens next year if it opens on time next year which is Falcon's Flight but um okay say it doesn't say it doesn't close and this is just all rumors how do you think they could fix fix the issue if, if there's something wrong with King to Ka? Because I've heard from various people that it's an actual maintenance nightmare. Well, I'm pretty sure it's having the same problems as what Top Soul Dragster had, which is uh, everything dealing with the launch system. Uh, the hydraulic systems and, and pneumatic systems, I might as well throw them in this as well, are both technical nightmares. Yes, they give you that gut punch of a launch, but they're all always high maintenance and and are plagued with issues, in particular with the launch mechanism itself, the, hy the hydraulic or pneumatic cylinders that actually pull the train across the track is where the problems really extend to. Yeah, and, the, and uh, c correct me if I'm wrong, K King Dakar also uses the same LIM, uh, LI or LSM, LIM motors. Oh, for the brake si braking system? Yeah. For the launch system, LIM uh, oh, motors. It uses Kim McCall uses still uses the hydraulic. Okay, so it's the same. It's the same thing as the as top as TT two. So it TT two is now uh, is now uh, LSMs. Oh well, I meant the original Top Thrill Dragster used the. Top Dragster was hydraulic. Okay, that's what I meant. It, it it uses the same system as the original Top Thrill Dragster used still. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I can see where they're coming from because I again I've heard even again I'm talking about Top Thrill Dragster even going off topic a little, but in his biography, the former CEO of the of Cedar Fair Entertainment, Dick Kendall said when he actually wanted Intamin to build a uh, Top Thrill Dragster and he realized how bad of a maintenance nightmare it was, he said it was the possibly the worst decision that he had as the C as the president and CEO of Cedar Fair. I personally I don't think Top Thrill Dragster was a bad investment. I can see where he's getting from, but I don't think it was a bad that bad of an investment. Right. But again, back on topic with King to Cop, I can see where some of the issues I think if that's why Six Flags is the rumors are going around like it's probably it's having the same issues as Top Thrill Dragster, and that's why they had to have it shut shut down for two years to fix it. Again, I hope that they don't actually tear it down and get rid of it for good. If they are trying to do the Zamperla treatment to it, like they did did with Top Thrill Dragster to turn it into Top Thrill Two, hopefully with well with the spike and stuff. Um, hopefully that's the case, and they're not actually demolishing it for good, and they're just trying to try and improve the ride experience. Yeah, it, it, I, I personally think it would be a good idea. In fact, it would probably be. Uh, it might. There are a few other changes that they could make. For one, Kenny Call has an over-the-shoulder restraints for some reason compared to what Kenny Call, what Top Thrill Dragster used to have, which is it always had a lap bar system which I think is a lot better system for that kind of a coaster. 
right? Because I thought the first ball had been, I think, the last time I rode top thrill tractors when we went, we went in, uh, for Coaster Mania in 2021. And that, yeah, I think the last, um, I actually prefer so, um, uh, um, the lap bar systems on any coaster lap bars over over the shoulder, uh, over the shoulder restraints because I feel like they're more comfortable on you than just having the giant thing go over your shoulders and you get your head banged all over the place. Yeah, well, the, it's more it, it's more of a pain in your shoulders, it, shoulder because of that gut punch of a launch. Right. But yeah, if they, I mean, hopefully that's the case that they um, modify that they're, they're if if the rumors are true. Again, anyone watching this ain't official yet. These are just rumors floating around the internet, and everyone's been talking about what the what if it is closing and stuff. Uh, what yeah, what, like the scenarios of what if it is closing and what they're gonna do with it. That's what we're discussing. Is not it's not not that it's closing. It we're more on the it's more on the lines of what if it is closing and how they could possibly fix King to Cobb? That's if that's what they're worried about. Yeah, if it if, and if it is close, I can learn, at this point. I think they probably were. If it is closing, I I would definitely say talk to a giving it the talk to two treatment would be interesting because you'll get a bigger better. Better a bigger version of Tato two, and potentially they could. They also got a lot of room because Kane and Carl are sitting out in the in the open. So they're they, so they could potentially, if they really wanted to dump a lot of money into it, they could make it a much longer coaster. But you also gotta think um, that there's a ride underneath it, which is one that John wanted to ride. I did too when we were there in June, and that would be the Jumanjaro Drop of Doom. So if they do get rid of it, well, if modify, um, well, modify, I don't think it, it would affect it if they modified it. But if they got rid of it in general, that would also mean Jumanjaro would be gone as well. Not necessarily. They could keep the superstructure to keep Jumanjaro. Okay, well, that yeah, it would make sense. But again, I can't remember the exact date at Jumanjaro opened, but I know it hasn't been there that long. I think about maybe 10 years it, since it's been open. I think it was 2015. It was, it opened just after we I went. 2015, 2016 was when it opened. It was just after I went. Okay. So okay. So yeah, it's about close to 10. Yeah, close to 10 years. If it opened 2015, that means next year would be its 10th anniversary. So yeah, it, I mean, I don't see see them getting rid of of King to Ka at uh in like as a whole. I don't think they would get rid of the coaster itself. I go. I'm going with John on this, and if they they possibly give the Zamperla treatment, as long as they actually tried um, try to switch the track over and not use the old Intamin track, like uh, like um, the whole incident with the Top Thrill Two had um, this later earlier this year. But if again another discussion is. What do you think would fit back there if they decide, like, hey, let's get it. We are getting rid of it. We're not going to deal with the whole thing, the whole Zamperla, uh, th the whole thing that Cedar that Cedar Point um, had to deal with with Zamperla. What do you suppose would actually fit back there? I say it's on a huge plot of land. It, 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 it's on the edge of the park. And the only thing that's back there is the is the safari section, which I know parks are left and right have been getting rid of safari areas and, uh, and aquariums because of all the backlash they've they, they've been getting as well as it's just a very high maintenance thing compared to the cost to compared to the profit that they can get so a lot of parks that have like zoos and and, and warp and aqua and warp and aquariums that are attached to them they've been getting rid of them because slowly phasing them out just to because of the costs right so i could it's because and because there's a lot of land, I think that it. Well, I personally say, go go big and get a giga. I I had to had to think about that for a second. It's like um, I had to think. It's like no, we we went and like I said, we went in June and when we were there, I noticed that there wasn't anything really that tall tall uh tall wise for um about giga size with 300 feet. I don't, I didn't see anything there that would um, 
take over the sky way is that for you know king to call of course Nitro is a really good sized coaster. It, it, it's at it's at well over two hundred foot tall, it, and as well as you got El Toro right next to it, which is also really big. As I think it's nearly one hundred and eighty foot tall. So they got some bit decent sized coasters. Right. Oh, but oh, Joe, another fun fact while we were there, and off a little bit off discussion of this, when we were on, uh, if you're on the lift hill, um, when you're on the lift hill, about to turn onto the first drop of El Toro. If you look real close near the safari section, you actually can still see at the top of top of the original loop of his great American scream scream machine that uh, in the monkey enclosure at the safari section. And we actually saw it when we were uh, made the turn to the first drop of El Toro. My thing though is that that was actually the first part that was removed because they had to replace it with a more a more reinforced piece of track track because of just how many how how much force was on top of that loop. Right. But um, anyway, back to King Dakar. Um, again, personally, I um, I plan. I me and him are actually planning on going back because, um, as you'll see in the uh, our our visit from June, which again we'll leave in on the top a link on the top here, that um, the flat um, the big coaster that was supposed to open this year, the Flash, was not open yet. The, the only Vacoma Super Boomerang in the United States, which would have been one of two in the world. So, yeah, that's one reason. And, again, we have a reason to go back next, uh, again, because King to Call was not open, and I want the credit before, ho- hopefully before Falcon's Flight opens next year because they haven't gave a specified date when, when Six Flags Quidia op- is going to open next year. Yeah, uh, uh, well, it's not just that. If you watch our vi- have watched our video, there's quite a few coasters that we missed that that because just because of ma- uh, staff staffing reasons, along with King and Call, Jersey Devil was closed all day. The the, the Green Lantern was closed all day. Zoomer was closed all day, and there's quite a few other flat rides that were closed all day. Plus, like Andy said. Uh, the flash was still still under construction yeah it wasn't done done yet but um that yeah and, well and a few other rides the uh um Zamp, the uh zamperla Pen, um endeavor ride that they have at uh i think that's the pendulum ride they have there the wonder woman last of truth that right beside where the flash is being built is wasn't open and b- because of the construction the Cyborg Cyberspin was not open as well. So, yes, we have very good reason to go back to Great Adventure to get all those credits. Yeah, but, both, um, both, both Flat Ride and Roll goes for credits. Right. But, um, again, that's another discussion for another video because um, Six Flags Great Adventure was not prepared at all for their big 50th anniversary this year. But that's another discussion for another uh, another video. Um, but yes, to uh, so um, what do you uh, what are your thoughts on it? Should should King to call close for good, or do you think it that the, the rumors aren't true? Because I'm I'm a little mixed on it. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm mixed. Uh, I mean, on the one hand, and y- yeah, it it, it even if when it, if it does not take the record hold no longer hold record for the tallest roller coaster in the world, it's still going to be the tallest roller coaster in the Western Hemisphere. So right. it's still going to be a pretty significant roller coaster. But on the other hand, it's often seen as a lesser version of Top Throw Jackson. So even if it did get the Top Throw two treatment and and Zephyr like as a, as a giant spike as well as uh, may. But it switches out the hydraulic launch for a an LSM um, triple launch system. Um, it it was still probably you would still be getting people comparing it back and forth with, between the two. And so unless they do a serious amount of maintenance, you're just not going to get a. It's, not, it's still going to be in Top Tone Dragster's shadow. So, right. So so that that's where I I think it, it would also it, adding something else in that spot on uh, plot of land would be would work. But at the same time, it's still a got a good ride for the park. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, I'm a little mixed on it because I can't say the ride experience because again, it was closed on uh, on our trip and 
So, so yes, I'm mixed because one, I want the credit, and two, hopefully it doesn't shut down so that way it can still stay the second tallest coaster in the world, and um, and the tallest in the we uh, Western Hemisphere. So, um, again, uh, if it, hopefully they actually don't shut it down entirely and give do give it the Zamperla treatment so we can still hold the record for the second tallest in the world. But um, I would still like to ride ride the original uh, version of it because I have rode its older brother um, at the time, the Top Top Thrill Dragster, before they transformed it into Top Thrill Two. Oh, I, 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 well, I don't have any too much to say on it. This one, I just really did not know too much. I tell uh, up until a couple of weeks ago when Andy told me. I had no idea this was a thing. But, uh, well, yeah. But, um, the act, they actually were, um, it was, a, again, they're, it's, again, it's rumors. It's not, again, so everything you hear from us, take it all with, from us on this video, take it with a grain of salt, because until Six Flags actually announced, Great Adventure actually announces something about it, it's, as of right now, it's not happening. So anything you hear from us on our discussion here about it, Hindicott closing, just take it with a grain of salt because in, um, it hasn't it been actually uh, announced officially if it is closing or not. So, so yeah, just take everything, like I said, take everything with a grain of salt. Well, on that note, I, I think that, that sums up the, the video. Yep. I think think it jumps up but yeah what do you guys think should you do, do, do um leave us let us know in the comments do you th think it should um king to should close for good and be replaced with something else or you think it, or do you think that uh it should get the damn perla treatment like top thrill two um just let it let us know in the comments also don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell to get the let us know the little bell icon to let us know or so you can see more of our videos. And until next time, this is Andy the Gemini Man. And John the Mystic Rider. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.